kind of all of you. Even the, the parts that you believe are, are too dark and too shameful. Every scar, every flaw, every imperfection. I love you. While all eyes turn to Lord Anthony Bridgerton's quest to find a Viscountess, we bid adieu to Reggae Jean Page, who so triumphantly played the Duke of Hastings. We'll miss Simon's presence on screen, but he will always be a part of the Bridgerton family, Lady Whistledown announced, breaking the hearts of die-hard Bridgerton fans. When Netflix introduced this production to us, it was the hottest romance series on the scene. Ooh, it's um, it's kind of like Jane Austen meets Gossip Girl with like 35 shades of grey, you know? <laughs> it's, it's... The story caught our hearts, and we couldn't help but swoon over the main character, played by the hunky reggae John Page. And what began as a limited series was shortly confirmed to return for the second season, leaving fans anxiously waiting for the Duke and Duchess to grace our screens with another rendezvous. But sadly, the creators of the series had a different plan. The one that didn't include Paige returning to our screens. The recent announcement left fans completely devastated, with multiple questions popping. Was he fired? Did he leave? Why won't the dreamy actor be returning for the second season? Lucky for you, Rumor Juice has all the answers, so keep watching to find out. And if you want to stay updated with more juicy celebrity news, all you have to do is click that notification bell and make sure you subscribe to the channel. The mastermind behind this epic series happens to be Shonda Rhimes' longtime collaborator. So it was no surprise when he brought Rhimes on board as a producer. And either than being a phenomenally acclaimed writer for your favorite binge-worthy series, such as Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and How to Get Away with Murder, she is also famed for firing actors in a heartbeat. Have you ever killed off a character because you didn't like the actor? <laughs> and extra bonus points, who was it? Uh, yes. Yes! Could she have something to do with Paige not returning to our screens? Is there something more to the story? I don't put up with bullshit or nasty people, she told The Hollywood Reporter. I don't have time for it. And even if they are the main character that everyone loves, like Reggae Jean, she will take little to no time to find a way to write them off of our screens. And word around Hollywood is that Rhymes does not put up with actors who mix business with pleasure. There were some speculations that the gorgeous actor was taken. Paige was rumored to be dating the beautiful Antonia Thomas. But the relationship seems to have ended since he has been reported to now be dating freelance copywriter and soccer player Emily Brown. Could the split between him and Antonia have been caused by the on-screen romance which Reggae Jean struggled to give an answer to? When asked if the chemistry was real, he simply commented, I think that everything you need to know is on camera. All the sparks that flew came off of the beautiful scripts we were handed. So I think that the sparky words, scripts, and material are more than enough. And later joked that he and his dazzling co-star were secretly playing footsie under the table. Well, you know what they say, there's a grain of truth in every joke. And if there is a smidge of honesty behind his statement, it could have added to his abrupt dismissal. Could the on-screen romance between him and co-star Phoebe Denever have sparked an even more intense off-screen romance behind closed doors? With six weeks of rehearsals to prepare for all those fiery, intimate scenes, it's hard to believe that nothing happened. And if the fan speculations are true, it is definitely not something that would fly in Shonda's books. Remember McDreamy? Patrick Dempsey was the male star of the medical practice gem Grey's Anatomy, and it's no secret that most of the series' success relied on Dempsey, just as his career was launched by the show. To love each other, even when we hate each other. No running. Ever. Nobody walks out, no matter what happens. In a heartfelt post, the show's writer shared the news of McDreamy's discontinued journey in the story. Although the message seemed heartwarming, the true reason was left hidden in the shadows. Fans speculated that the actor was fired after Shonda found out that he stepped out of his marriage and was having an affair with an intern. In addition to that, the star had a long-running feud with the writer, who was tired of his diva behavior. It seems like Shonda has no regard for actors who don't respect their spouses or women in general. And you can ask Columbus Short to confirm that for you. 
When the scandal actor was accused of domestic violence, the show took little to no time to kill him off, with no hope for his character to ever come back to our screens. Luckily, Paige seems to be a gentleman both on and off screen. We shouldn't discuss the matter of Daphne's dowry. There is nothing to discuss, I will not accept one. I beg your pardon. I need to be paid to marry Daphne. It's frankly an insulting custom in my judgment. You may place the money in trust for her if you like, but you need not harbor any doubts of my intention to support your sister. Meanwhile, the reason given by both the Bridgerton team and the British Zimbabwean star himself has more to do with the original storyline from the book, which goes on to explore Daphne's brother's romantic endeavors in the second installment. Although, like most series, when fans begin to take a liking to a certain character, Production usually pulls all the strings they can to make things work somehow, unless there are unresolvable matters behind the scenes. Could the production explanation be a cover-up for something bigger? It would not be the first time fans have alleged a cover-up story from the Shondaland production. Tim Daly, another frontman of the much-loved Grey's Anatomy spin-off, Private Practice, was written off before the sixth and final season. We're just talking about was, a case. She needed a consult on the... Locked in the uh, Dell vault, all right? Fans were shocked to hear that the star would not be returning to seal the end of the wonderful journey. And things got worse when the grounds behind his dismissal seemed suspicious, with Rhymes stating that there were, quote, budgetary reasons behind firing the actor. Considering the fact that Daly played a prominent character in the show's main cast, any payment concerns could have been settled to keep both the star and the team happy and on good terms. But the motive behind his exit came across as a cover-up for something unpleasant. However, with all the new roles Ray Gajan is picking up, budgetary concerns would be a reasonable explanation. Since his Bridgerton fame, the star has been rumored to be cast for a number of critically acclaimed films, such as James Bond and Marvel's Black Panther. True or false, Daniel Craig called you up said, I have the keys to James Bond, I'm driving to your house, and I'm giving you those keys. 100% true. Like most celebs, the actor's pay rate may have increased to match his new star status, and perhaps the production just wasn't able to meet his desires. Although most fans were devastated by the announcement of the Duke's short-lived screen time, those who had immersed themselves in the read may not have been as surprised, just as Paige wasn't shocked either. In an elegant post of him as the Duke riding a horse, the charming actor shared, The ride of a lifetime. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be your Duke. However, in interviews, the actor's emphasis was on the fact that he only signed up for one season. He was under the impression that the show was a limited series. If the only thing restricting him from agreeing to play in another season is just a contract, couldn't those terms and conditions just be settled? Unless both parties couldn't reach an agreement behind the scenes. Whatever the hidden reason behind it may be, we still have not yet recovered from this terrible news. But at least we can find some sort of solace in the idea that he will be returning later as the show continues. They have that reassurance that we're going to come out and we're going to have the marriage and the baby, Paige shared. Hopefully this is alluding to the fact that there will be season three or that the series will be a long running one. And we don't know about you, but we're ready to wait for the oh-so-charming His Grace to return to our screens again. In the meantime, we'll have to wait and see if the second season story will distract our attention away from the missing Duke. Before we leave, here are some of your favorite actors who made the Shonda Rhimes firing list. Katherine Heigl The romantic comedy queen Katherine Heigl was given the boot after she publicly badmouthed the show she was cast in. Following an Emmy Award win for her role in Grey's Anatomy, the actress rejected the nomination the next year, saying the material she was given was, quote, not good enough, and that it didn't allow her to give an Academy Award winning performance. It goes without saying that the actress did not return for another season thereafter. It sucks. I, I am sorry that she feels that way, and I wish her nothing but greatness, and I have nothing negative to say about Shonda. I'm a big fan of her work. I watch Scandal every week, so um, I'm sorry she's left with such a crappy um, impression of me. To make matters worse, the controversy tainted her reputation, making it difficult for her to return to our screens. She tried to make a comeback with shows like State Affairs and Doubt, 
but both shows failed. It's safe to say that Shonda's word is gold, and what she says goes. It seems like there was a lot of trouble on the medical series set. What is it about hospitals and scrubs that rubs people the wrong way? Isaiah Washington. This star was shown the door after having a heated argument with Patrick Dempsey. It's bad enough to have an altercation with the long-standing frontman of the show, but what added fuel to the fire was the things that were said. Washington referred to another cast member, T.R. Knight, using a homophobic slur. To make matters worse, Knight had not revealed his sexuality. When the disagreement surfaced, it put the actor's sexuality out there against his will. T.R. Knight As though having his personal life made public was not enough, the actor was also written off the show. Knight said that Shondaland made it hard for the actor to be himself by asking him to not disclose his sexual identity for the betterment of the story. Although he wasn't directly fired, the star said the production left him no choice. It was either he left the show to be free, or he denied his sexuality. And the actor chose freedom. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for choosing Rumor Juice, and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.